Now, from this framework, I hope I've given you a little bit of history for physics and a little bit of understanding for M theory. Now, from this framework, now Stephen Hawking makes this cool assertion, right? He makes this assertion that God is no longer needed to give us the Big Bang. Right? In other words, God isn't needed to light that fuse to set the Big Bang in motion. Because of M theory, now we have this thing. So here's uh, another version of, uh, sorry, here's a quote from the Grand Design. It says, um, the multiverse concept, this idea that I've told you guys about all possible universes, can explain the fine tunings of physical law without the need for a benevolent creator who made the universe for our benefit. Now we don't need somebody to say, how did that initial Big Bang happen? How did the match get lit and the fuse blow up? We don't need it because M-theory explains it away. Now Richard Dawkins, superstar evolutionary biologist, he makes the following statement. He said, Darwinism kicked God out of biology, but physics remained more uncertain. Hawking is now administering the coup de grace. He's saying, finally, in bio, we've gotten that taken care of. He's out of there. Now, there's always this the scaffolding that you need to kind of hold things in place of how that started. We got Stephen. He's done the work for us. Glorious points. Now, let me say, what are my thoughts about this? Right? There is one thing from a mathematician perspective that I would say about M-theory. Now, this is making a different claim. So what are my thoughts about this? Well, it turns out that there is, to me, nothing to be taken seriously here. There's nothing serious at all. Uh, my faith hasn't decreased. My faith hasn't increased. This is just a sentence that kind of passes through my mind. And I'll tell you why. I'm going to give you two reasons. One reason is based on physics, and the second reason is based on faith. Right? So here's my first reason based on physics. Quantum mechanics is the most accurate theory in the history of mankind. Quantum mechanics is ridiculously good. It can measure in accuracies we could never imagine. This theory is so powerful, the scientific phenomena is so repeatable and accurate, it is almost flawless. We still can't figure out how to combine it with gravity, but it is, it is really, really fantastic. But, uh, but M theory, this theory of string theory, it hasn't even been tested yet. Right? It is a collection of ideas. So here is Roger Penrose, Sir Roger Penrose, he was a professor at Oxford. He was a mathematical physicist. He has written uh, works with Stephen Hawking in terms of cosmology. And here is what he writes. What is referred to as M-theory isn't even a theory. It's a collection of ideas, hopes, aspirations. I think the book is a bit misleading in that respect. It gives you the impression that here is this new theory which is going to explain everything. It's nothing of the sort. He continues, it's not an uncommon thing in popular descriptions of science to latch onto some idea, particularly things to do with string theory which have absolutely no support from observation. They're just nice ideas that people have tried to explore. So if you're making a faith statement based on a theory, which is not really a theory, but a collection of cool ideas, then what is there to really explore? In fact, this whole concept of nice ideas that people try to explore, that's exactly what math is. Right? This is pure a mathematical realm. This is what we do. We love nice ideas. But let me also tell you something from the faith perspective. What does it mean for God to create the universe, right, from a faith perspective? Is it this person lighting the universe on fire and starting it up in the beginning? Well, William, for example, let me share with you this quote from William Carroll. He's a professor of theology at Oxford, and he writes, creation is the ongoing, complete causing of the existence of all that is. At this very moment, were God not causing all that is to exist, there would be nothing at all. Creation concerns the origin of the universe, not its temporal beginnings. In other words, it's not that there is a person who needs to start something to say this is creation. The fact that we're here, this is creation. The existence is what creation means. The fact that God is sustaining everything that's happening now, this is the concept of creation. To water it down into a spark that needs to start anything, that's silliness. right? That's just a silliness. So let me explain to you more about what William Carroll says. He says, contemporary cosmological theories which employ a multiverse hypothesis or an infinite series of Big Bangs do not challenge the fundamental feature of what it means to be created. That is, the complete dependence upon God as cause of existence. So from my concept of faith, this is my perspective on faith as a Christian, I would say I am not moved by these claims by Stephen Hawking about creation not being needed from God's perspective. And from my concept as a mathematician, I'm not moved by Hawking's note because M-theory isn't really a theory to explain physical phenomena yet. So where are we?
For more information about the Veritas Forum, including additional recordings and a calendar of upcoming events, please visit our website at veritas.org.